Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I want to kind of take you through some of the basic rules of, uh, of soccer. One of the, the trickiest ones I know is, is going to be offsides. So let me just kind of jump right in, explain that. I'm going to use the red markers for, uh, for the defense and the black is for us for the offense. Um, so again, let's put, uh, let's put a couple defenders out here. Okay. I have a, kind of a flat back four. It's kind of the easiest way to describe it. So, okay, say we have offense, offense, and we have our center mid with the ball, okay? Now, these players are on sides. They're not off sides, okay? Your off sides line is the last defender back. So uh, it, would be running, it would be running kind of still along this line because these two are even. Okay, now say that, um, say they were playing kind of a diamond back, uh, which one player would maybe be here, or sorry, one player would be here and one player would be here. Where's the offsides line? How do you know? Because it's the last defender back. So again, your, off your offsides line would be right there. It's even with the defender. And if the ball's played even with the defender, which I'll show you in a minute, you're going to be on sides. So again, how do we, uh, how do we know? How do we kind of time that? Um, you always kind of want to be even or beyond, like even or in front, ball side, goals back here in front of the offense, uh, or defense, excuse me. So right here, you always want to time your runs. So if the ball's played, okay, as soon as the ball is played, you can make your run. So even if he's playing the ball and the ball is now right at here in mid-pass and you are right here, you are on sides because it's as soon as the ball is played. It's not when the ball gets to here where the defense is, you know, I have to be here as well. It's whenever he touches the ball, okay? And another example would be like this, okay? Say that you have your guy out here, your, your right wing, okay? There's your forwards. Say he's playing an in-swinging ball, okay? And you want to make your run. As soon as he goes, bam! kicks the ball, you're off, okay? Ball's here, being played in, you're on sides, okay? So you really wanna time your run because really it is, it's, it's almost like milliseconds when you can be off and on. So again, if you're a striker, you always wanna kinda of be mindful of that. And when you're here and you're playing this ball, you know? Again, you don't wanna be playing a ball where here's the defense, this is their on sides line, okay? It's even with this guy's kinda of back further. Um, that guy's on sides, and this guy is like, oh, feed me the ball, I'm through. He's off sides, he's past the line, he's past the defender. Okay, so even if he plays this ball, you know, ref's gonna hold his flag up, the, uh, the center judge is gonna blow his whistle, you're off sides. So again, you really wanna be mindset of that, and you know, take this run. This is a good run too to, uh, to play, is, is to make your run slowly here, and as this guy starts playing the ball, break behind him, okay, and play it there. You're still off, you're still on sides. Okay, so that's kind of the basics of offsides. Um, and I'm sure I'll write some stuff out too. Uh, if you guys have any questions too, let me, you know, we'll be, we'll be happy to answer them. Because it's kind of a, it's kind of a fine line of when is it on sides, when is it off sides. But it really is when the last defender hits, uh, that's how you know that uh, you're on sides or you're off sides, excuse me. Write this down so you can see the rules in case you're fast forwarding through. So that's the offsides. Okay, the next one that we want to get into is a handball. Okay. Now let me kind of show you here. Let me grab this ball. Okay, a handball is when your arm is actually out. Okay. So the ball comes through and it hits you here. Like, here we go. This is what you know. Handball, 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 handball. This isn't really a handball, this is shoulder. You can hit it off your shoulder and be just fine. So again, if you have your hands at your side, even if you're in the box and the ball kind of hits you on the hand inadvertently, like you're not sticking your hand out to block it, that's when they're gonna call is when you start sticking your hand out to block it. If your hand's at your side or you're kind of covering yourself up because you're a guy, they're not gonna call that. You know, you're protecting yourself. Uh, the ball's gonna hit you anyways. So again, if your hands are at your side, they're not going to call a handball, so don't really worry about that. But uh, just don't be sticking your arms out or anything. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about too is uh, corner kicks. 
Uh, so let me put this up here. Corner kicks. How do you know what a corner kick is? Okay. Well, this right here um, is your end line. Where the goal is, that is called the end line. Okay. Because it's the line at the end. So if you have the ball, and uh, if you have the ball over here, I'll kind of play it over here so because we have all that right now. Say the ball deflects off of a defender, okay, and it goes out of bounds off of the end line, okay, anywhere from the flag over this way, okay, from here all the way over to this side, okay, that's the end line. Anything that goes off the flag that way, off of a defender, that's a corner kick, and the corner kick is taken inside this little box on the end or inside this little box on the end. So the offense would be taking that kick towards goal, okay? Um, if you play the ball, if you're an offensive player, okay, say that I'm taking the ball, here's a defender, and I dribble, whoops, and I kick it out of bounds off of the end line. If I do that, the offensive player does that, then it's a goal kick. And a goal kick is where you take, uh, that's the defensive team takes the ball from that little six yard box, okay? And you can play it anywhere, anywhere along this line. You'll see that in professionals just kind of roll it out and take it, so. Um, but again, if you're kind of just starting out or you're in high school or something, they'll make you actually place the ball down and make it, like they want the ball still. So with, they don't want the ball rolling and then you kick it. So um, again, if it goes off the end line, from the offense, then that's gonna be a goal kick. If it goes off from the end line from the defense, then that's gonna be a corner kick out on the ends here, okay? Um, and another one is, is kind of in the, in the similar vein is gonna be a throw-in. And a throw-in is the same thing, but anything on the sideline here, okay? So this is the sideline. Um, anything that goes off this side of the flag all the way down to the, the flag on the other side, that's going to be a throw in. And if it fits off me, then it goes to the other team. If, it's off, if it goes out of bounds off of the other team, then it goes to me and you have to throw the ball in. Um, so that's kind of the basic rules there. I want to get into, uh, let's see, into PKs. You've probably heard the term PKs, which stand for penalty kick, and what are those? Uh, PKs are when there's, well, let me just do this, when there's a foul in this 18 yard box, okay? The reason why it's called an, a six yard box and an 18 yard box is because it's measured six yards off of the end line, and this is measured 18 yards off of the end line. Uh, and in case you're wondering where the PK spot is, it's a little dot here in the center, and that's 12 yards off the end line, okay? So 12 yards right there. All right, so a PK is taken anytime that there's a foul. Um, generally, they're, they're pretty much giving you PKs now on, on every call. I know they were a little bit more lenient, and they would you know, maybe take you take a free kick in here, but now they've kind of gone to basically any foul in the box, whether it's a, a legal slide tackle, whether it's the handball, anything, even if it happens here, even if you get fouled here, even if you get fouled here, 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 there, all that is gonna lead to a penalty kick. And a penalty kick is where uh, one player, the offensive player, uh, takes the ball one on one against the goalie. So ball's placed here, here I am. It's one on one against the goalie. Ball's set still right on the, right on the circle, and then one on one. So that's the PK. Um, it's, you know, kind of one of the, the simpler shots that you should have, so we'll get into kind of taking those later on, but that's the kind of general rule. And then I want to talk to you about two things. Let's see. Got the red card, okay, and we have the yellow card. Chaz, did you ever see when they started pulling the blue cards out? I don't know what that was, man. I think they did away with that after about a year, but uh, uh, 
A yellow card is a cautionary card. So think of just like a, uh, a stoplight. When you see the, you know, the yellow light, you think caution, go fast or slow down. Um, a yellow card is the same thing, okay? So a yellow card is maybe for, you know, I'd say kind of a non-deliberate foul, but one that's a little bit, you know, dicey, an illegal slide tackle, maybe an obvious handball. Uh, they're going to give you a yellow card. And what that is, is, uh, is two yellows, okay? Two yellow cards in one game equals one red card. Okay, so they're kind of giving you, uh, they're kind of giving you a little bit of a warning there. That's a cautionary warning. Don't do it again. What happens if you get two yellows and you get a red? You get kicked out, and your team's playing down a man. Okay, it's the same thing. If you get one red card, you're tossed out, and your team plays down a man. So you play with ten players instead of eleven. Um, and then you know, if you're a younger player and you're playing. I think it's like seven on seven, then you'd be playing with six players. So again, uh, one red card and you're tossed, two yellows and you're tossed. Um, so again, what you get a red card for, um, that's generally, um, oh man, that's generally a, a, a really deliberate foul, a deliberate, uh, you know, kick to a leg you know, slide tackling where you're really, really late, guys already played the ball and you're coming in hard with cleats up. Uh, or if you watched uh, this past World Cup uh, and saw the Uruguay-Ghana game and it was uh, basically the 93rd minute, it was into stoppage time, which is extra time uh, that they have for, for fouls or anything that go on in one half. They'll add a couple minutes on depending how how many fouls it was, but if you saw the Uruguay guy in the goal, uh, he went to go block it, and ball came up, and he handballed it out. So it would have been a goal, but he handballed it. It was a deliberate handball that blocked a goal, so he got a red card. He got ejected. Somehow they still won the game in PKs, but uh, it was it was kind of a, a crazy call. So any any really deliberate foul, um, you know, if you talk back to the ref, start cussing them out, he's gonna throw you red. Okay, and I wouldn't encourage that anyways. Um, so again, they give you the two yellows for the cautions and, uh, and two yellows equals the one red. So again, this is kind of the basic, uh, the basic rules that you, you kind of need to know uh, in the game. And uh, that's pretty much it for that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.